Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Jimmy Scott Fitness Podcast and Radio Show. Coming to you super fast on a Saturday. Just squeezed in my own workout. A little bit sweaty here, a little bit gross. Hopefully, you guys are out doing the same, being active, using the gift of movement that you have today because it's a precious one. And if it was gone, I can promise you guys you would do anything in your power to get it back. So please get out and move today. Uh, this message today, just a really quick rant. Uh, as I you know, ended our group session today here, talking to a very, what I would like to think, an enlightened individual, and then going back and forth on text messages. And the underlying message today is here, you have to be willing to do the work. You just do. If you want anything in life, you guys have to put in the time, the effort, and the energy to get there. And I think we all know that deep down on some level, yet some people uh, you know, try to avoid it, or maybe it is just pure ignorance, and they think like there's this magic fucking pill they're gonna take or grab or find that's gonna solve all their problems. Now, I bring this to light because I'm going back and forth on this text message here, and I'm gonna keep this quick, hopefully under five minutes. I'm going back and forth on this message, and uh, one of these people was at a personal development event, you know, where they, you know, you're getting inspired, you're getting motivated, uh, they're hyping you up, they're getting you into a state to, you know, get shit done and take over the world and get you super jacked. My problem with those events is, again, I'm a fan of personal development, you guys. I've, I've seen almost everybody speak over the world who, who I've really cared to see speak. And I think if you take things in context and you don't just listen, but you actually take those pieces and you put them into play, I think you can get a lot out of it. And I'm all for anything that gets you inspired, motivated, and driven. Now, if that's you know going to a live event, if it's reading a book, listening to a podcast, going on a YouTube page, reading a quote, uh, anything that can do it for you, I'm a 100% a fan of it. What I'm not a fan of at some of these events is they get you into this state. They change your, you know, the physical state of you and how you're thinking. They get you hyped up like the heat of the moment is what I'm driving at. Like when you're a 15 year old dude and you got your girlfriend at your house and you're hyped up in the heat of the moment, sometimes you make poor decisions. Hopefully you guys are following me. We've all been there. Some of you guys have done that as you're older, but you know, when you're super excited and you're turned on and it gets you moving, it, it works the same way, you know, sexually as it does, you know, in finances, they get you in this state. And what they do is I've been to these events, I see people and they, you know, the upsells and the downsells. And from a business standpoint, it's actually rather genius. And it's, it's how people sell, it's how people buy. Uh, there's a lot of psychology you can actually learn from seeing people in these places. Now, what they'll do is they'll say, okay, you know, you're at this event that you came to quote unquote for free or like for like, you know, $40 entry fee. Like that's their, you know, kind of barrier to entry to get you in the door and they're gonna teach you all this info and you're gonna be super jacked. What they do then is they upsell you on, you know, Give us, you know, come to this three-day workshop. Give us 2,000 bucks, and you, we promise you'll triple your investment when you leave. What they don't say is, you still have to do the fucking work when you leave. That's the game. No matter what it is, you guys, I don't care the, the podcast, the book, the conference, the speaker, the mastermind, uh, the, anything it is, you have to be willing to listen, which is great, but then you have to take what you learn and you have to apply it. That's the work. Any speech I do, any podcast, any live event, anything at all, I'm the first one to tell you, hey, this stuff is super awesome. I'm gonna tell you it can change your fucking life if you take it and you actually work the steps when you leave. That's what befalls people. I think sometimes they think, you know, there's this lottery ticket, there's this magic pill, uh, you know, this, something's gonna happen for them which will allow them to make, you know, passive income, which I'll talk about in a second. Anybody you see, you guys, in any arena of life that has been in great shape, let's say for you know, 10, 20, 30 years, that person eats a certain way, they train a certain way, they sleep a certain way, they live their life by a certain set of rituals and routines that has allowed them to not only get in shape, but stay in shape for the duration. They put in the work to get there. If you see someone who is financially successful, you know, a multimillionaire, if you will, not someone who inherited it, not someone who, who won the lottery, which is few and far between, the self-made millionaire, the person who put in the effort, they worked typically for multiple decades in order to get there, being they grinded their face off for 60, 70, 80, 90, some of them 100 hours a week, every week for the past 10, 20, 30 years in order to get to a place where they can invest, buy stuff, buy freedom, buy time, whatever it may be. That's the one thing I think befalls a lot of people. And that's why I say, you know, if you believe in shit like that, you guys, I'm not trying to crush your dreams, but the days of you know passive income and sitting on a beach on a laptop, returning messages, making millions of dollars, I've yet to meet anybody in my past, you know, working on my own here for over a decade who does that. The four hour work week shit doesn't really happen. You have to be willing to put in more than four hours of work per week if you want anything amazing in your life to take place. Easy come, easy go, as they say, or you know. 
If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. And, and I believe that with these personal development conferences or anything that anybody teaches you. And I know we make fun of people because, you know, uh, they believe certain things that, oh, you believe in Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny or the Tooth Fairy, but there's still fucking people out here who believe in detox teas, who believe in wraps, who believe in, you know, get six minute ads in six minutes. And again, the same people who say like, uh, I'm gonna sell you on passive income, come to this work event on Wednesday night and uh, get in this room and you'll get in this funnel and you'll get in this funnel and you'll get this person, this person. The people who make money and shit like that, you guys, in the quote unquote passive income, I'm not bagging at anybody out here who does, you know, uh, MLMs and who does, you know, the pyramid marketing stuff. If that's your thing and you hustle and grind your face off and you feed your family, go ahead and make your money, son. I'm not going to you know, hate on you for it. But if you can tell somebody, hey, you can passively make five to ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month working five hours a week, you're full of shit. And if you're out there watching this and say, Jeremy, I make four hundred fifty thousand dollars a year and I work four hours a week from the beach. Give me a call, dude. You and I will do business together and we'll be the happiest two people on earth. I say that to say this, not to, to crush anybody's dreams, but understand you guys, a dude like me especially, from where I came from and how I grew up and where I'm at today, the only way it happened was I worked my face off. Every single day, every single week, for the past 10, 11, 12, 13 years. And that's how I've gotten here. That's It's the same way I became good at sports. It's the same way I became in great shape. It's the same way I became, you know, what I like to think is, you know, a good supportive husband. It's the same way I've run this business and have built up a client base and built up a brand and a following of people for me by just being an awesome fucking person, trying to do right by everybody else every single day and never turning it off. That's it. So hopefully that clears the air for some of you guys. Just understand if you want things in life, if you want the big house, if you want the fancy car, if you want to take the trips, if you want to be fit, if you want to be smart, if you want to be awesome at piano or anything else in the world, you have to be willing to schedule your time and schedule your life around those things to put in the effort and the energy to become good at a craft. And at one day, if you choose to master it or reach the upper levels, that's what's required. It's you can't, you know, get a lottery ticket. You can't take a magic pill. You can't detox wrap it. Uh, you can't go to a conference. And they're going to give you the secrets of the fucking world and some mastermind or something is going to fix it for you. No matter what you do, knowledge is great. But without action and work, the knowledge is essentially worthless. I know a ton of people who are super smart and they know what to do and when to do, but they just don't fucking do it. And without the execution, because execution is everything, none of the rest of the stuff matters. So hopefully that helps you guys stay motivated, stay driven, and know if you're putting in the work right now, even if, you, even if you're putting it in and you can't see the payoff yet or you can't see what's going to come to life, just know the promise of that work is going to pay off for you three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now, because a lot of the stuff I'm doing today and saying and talking and speaking is from, and, and the reason it works now and the reason we sell things that can do different stuff and I have all these opportunities coming my way is because the work I was putting in six months ago, two years ago, three years ago, six years ago, 10 years ago, it's building a foundation that you can play off of and work from forever. But all of it requires time, effort, energy. It requires a ridiculous, crazy pace of work, you know, feeling almost like you almost feel anxious, you know, to wake up and put the work in, but also having the patience to know it's not going to pay off just yet. Even though it feels like, oh man, it's never going to pay off. Never, I can promise you guys from personal experience, it does. And there's been plenty of days where I've said, fuck it, man. I just want to quit. I want to pack it in. I don't want to do this shit. And I've been discouraged and beat down and kicked. And I felt like, man, it wasn't worth it. But as I sit here today, and, and I'll have plenty more of those. Trust me, there's going to be plenty of times like, shit, man, I've been, I've been grinding at this for so long. I've been trying to, when is it going to happen for me? It is happening. You just can't see it happen in real time because the progress is slow. It's incremental. You're running a marathon. It's not a sprint. Understand that if you keep putting in the work, you guys, I promise it's going to be worth it. But just don't fall for the lottery ticket, home run, magic pill, get quick fix. Don't let somebody sell you on some fucking pipe dream because it's just that. It's a dream. The secret is work, effort, energy, sacrifice, and patience over an extended period of time is how all of us become successful in everything we do in life. So if you're on iTunes right now, stop. Don't be a lazy ass. Drop us a five star, leave a comment. I'd love to hear it. If you think this can help anybody you know right now who's always looking for the next thing and they're not willing to stick it out and put in the work, share this with them because uh, I promise you it can do a lot more good than it can do harm as long as you're okay with the, a couple square words along the way. So until next time, you guys, eat well, train hard, be nice people, and please, you guys, keep doing shit you love with people you enjoy because your life is too short not to. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.